What's good everyone? Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Japanese culture and sneakers. Now for those of you who come to my channel regularly to get my take on Japanese culture and society, you might be wondering, sneakers? For those of you who clicked on this video who are probably new to the channel because you saw it's something about sneakers, well, I think you already know the connection. Let's talk about it. Japanese culture is famous worldwide, whether it's old culture like samurai and kimono, or new culture like anime and Harajuku street fashion, it's pretty well known. But there is a culture in Japan that's also worldwide, and that is love of sneakers. And Japan is no exception in this regard. Japan has its own groups of dedicated sneaker heads who buy sell, collect sneakers, but it's more than that. Japan has had its own strong mark on sneaker culture because whether it's uh, sneaker collaborations that have been done with Japanese designers, for example, a good number of the Nike's long-running Air Max line has had Japanese influence. You have Japan exclusive shoes that come out from the major makers and you have a lot of different Japan-inspired collaborations. And that is what I'm going to be unboxing today. But before I get to that unboxing, I want to say please drop a like on this video. It's a small thing, but it helps get my video out to a wider YouTube audience. And I'm at 90 subscribers, only 10 away from 100. I know that's a really tiny milestone in the grand scheme of YouTube channels, but for me, it would mean a lot to make it to 100. And to the 90 subscribers who have been around for a while, thank you. Shout out, thank you for your continued support. All right, let's open some boxes. I'm going to start with this one here. Got my scissors. Now this first one, this is actually a Jordan 1 Retro. Now, if you know anything about sneakers, you know the Jordan brand, and you know that the Jordan 1 is probably the most famous, most loved of the Jordans. I mean, everyone has preferences. Some people might like different Jordans better, but you can't deny the fact that this particular silhouette is incredibly famous. This particular Jordan colorway is coming at us in 2020. It's a retro of a shoe that originally came out in 2001, kind of in honor of the millennium. This time it was supposed to be in honor of the 2020 Olympics, which as we all know due to COVID-19 has been postponed. Now these first came across my radar back in March and when I saw these pictures it was a shoe I just had to have. Now these actually dropped in Japan on August 1st and I'm filming this on August 20th. Now you might be thinking why did I wait so long to unbox this? I actually had these in hand before they were released in America. They got released in America on the 7th or 8th, I think. So I got these on the 5th and I sat on them. Why? Even though I was excited to open them up, I wanted to do a video about it. So we get to do this together. Oh, we got the Jordan paper. It's got the Jordan Jumpman logo and 2001 for the original version and the 2020 on this paper for this year's version. Put this out of the way. 
there it is. I have waited basically since March to get these in here. And it's just it's just a really smooth, clean colorway in my opinion. These are just something that I feel is gonna go with pretty much whatever kind of clothing I might try to pair it with. And I grew up idolizing Jordan. Who didn't? So to have a pair in hand, I mean, I didn't get to have these when I was a kid. So when I saw them, I knew it was just something I had to have. Not only is it a colorway that I really like, it's the Japan collaboration. And I've been in Japan 15 years, so it just made perfect sense. This was a shoe I had to get my hands on. This makes me really happy. Now before I open this second pair, I just want to say that I find it really amusing when I watch sneaker YouTubers and they get the shoes out and then they do this modeling on feet and give a like on feet review and they do it in their room or in their hallway of their house or something like that and for someone who's been in Japan so long, I just look at that with horror and I'm thinking what are you doing how are you wearing those shoes inside your house now you might say well it's it's never been outside it's totally clean that's not the point you just don't wear shoes inside so I, I get it it's not Japan but when they are doing that in their house I'm just cringing like oh, you no know, no shoes in the house even when they're clean all right, let us open the second pair. The second pair, this second pair is also an iconic Jordan shoe, the Jordan 3. And this particular colorway is called the denim. Now, I did need a new white shoe for summer. I don't have a lot of white shoes in my collection. So I did really like this when this came out. But to be honest, if it weren't a Japan exclusive pair, of the Jordan 3 denims, I probably wouldn't have bought them. I actually had my eye on a couple of different shoes that I might have done instead, but the Japanophile in me, again, when I saw these, I thought, oh, I have to get my hands on these. Again, this is part of that .co.jp line collaboration, and this happens to be a Japan exclusive. They are releasing the denim in the States and I think they drop next week actually. But this particular pair is Japan exclusive and I'll show you why in a moment. It's different than what is coming out in the States. Now I gotta give a shout out to Undefeated which is where I got this particular pair of shoes and they did a really good marketing move that got me to buy from them and I'll explain what that was in a moment. All right, undefeated receipt. And here we are. That pristine Jordan 3 box denim colorway on its way. Got that elephant print paper. And bam, this is why I wanted these. On the heel tab, instead of the normal Nike Air written in alphabet, it's instead in the Japanese katakana syllables. And so we have na-i-ki across the heel. And these are not coming out in the States as far as I know. The ones that they're releasing next week are just the normal Alphabet Nikes. They may release these at some point elsewhere in the world, but I'm actually more excited to wear these in the US when I next have a chance to go visit than actually wearing them in Japan. But now that I have them in hand, this is, wow. 
This is just a clean, nice, oh, these are gonna look sharp. These are gonna look good. These are gorgeous, these are gorgeous. The clear heel tab, you can maybe make it out. There is the Jumpman over the top of the Nike Air. But, and of course, the Jumpman on the tongue. Inside, we've got that. Ooh, it's gonna be hard to see any better lighting. I think this particular version of the shoe might actually be more popular outside of Japan because I've been watching different sneaker YouTubers talk about it and saying, wow, I really would like to get that katakana version of the shoe. And the thing is, it's still on shelves here. As of this morning, ABC Mart, which is one of the major shoe sellers in Japan, still has sizes 8, 8.5, and, and 9 available. It's limit 1 per customer, and it says, very sorry, domestic shipping only, so you're not going to be able to order them from abroad, unfortunately. But they're still there. They didn't sell out. Now, this leads me to what I mentioned before, how I got the undefeated marketing scheme really worked in my case, because I got an L on the sneakers app, so I couldn't buy them direct from Nike. They were sold out immediately. But then I got an email from undefeated that said, hey, we have these in stock, valued customer, now is your chance to order. And I thought, oh, okay, I got a quick, it was still like 10 minutes or 15 minutes after they had officially dropped. And so I thought, oh, it must be, a I, I still got a chance to get them. So I quick filled out my information um, and sent that and I got the shoes. Not realizing that, well, they're still actually on shelves in stores. So, so they didn't sell out immediately everywhere like, well, these did. So I'm guessing these are more limited overall, whereas these are limited to Japan. So. Yeah, maybe, maybe this will be rare if I'm walking around in these in the States, but in Japan, I don't know, maybe not such a big deal. I don't care. I think this is a gorgeous shoe. I'm really happy that I got them, and I'm really happy that I shared this experience of unboxing these with you. Thank you again for watching. Again, drop the like, subscribe if you haven't already. I drop new content every Friday. So look for my other videos. Thanks for watching this one, and I'll catch you again.